on the file cloud admin portal under governance, smart DLP, you're going to be able to manage your data leak prevention rules. Data leak prevention is a file cloud feature that enables administrators to closely control the degree to which users can access, edit, download, and transfer their organizational files and folders. While DLP can be useful for many different kinds of data, it can be specifically critical for securing handling of personal identifying information, known as PII, personal health information, PHI, and payment for credit card, for example, PCI compliance. DLP also offers great security to organizations that are required to operate in compliance with HIPAA or GDPR. From within the admin portal, under Manage DLPs, you're going to be able to see all of your DLP rules. You're going to be able to create a new rule by clicking on Add DLP Rule, adding a rule name, for example, and then decide the affected user action. For example, do you want to allow or deny the download? Do you want to allow or deny the share? Or deny or allow the login? Each DLP affected action depends pretty much on the regular expression that we're doing. We have multiple regular expressions that you can look under Rule Creation Help that gives you an example of each rule. And within our documentation, where we have multiple rules for different actions as seen here. You can find them under our documentation for Smart DLP example rules. Going back into the admin portal, for this scenario, I'm going to be creating a rule to deny the download of any document that contains the metadata, credit card, visa, for example. So I can copy this rule and state metadata exists within the value. And now the value, this has to be a valid metadata that you have created. In this case, I'm going to type credit card, then provider, and then the attribute is going to be visa. Now, pretty much I'm telling the DOP rule, hey, if there's any document that has the metadata value credit card visa, I want you to deny that download. And I'm going to set it to enforce. Enforce means that it's going to completely deny. Permissive means that it will allow it, but it will notify the user that he's violating a rule. So by selecting enforce, I'm not going to create a notification. This is the message that will appear for the end user if they try to download any document that has the metadata, credit card, visa. Now I want to create this rule. Once the rule is created, let's go ahead and look for it. And here it is. I can see that it is enforcing and it is enabled. Now that we created our DOP rule, I'm going to go ahead and access the user portal so we can see how this is affected on the end user side. From the end user portal, I have a document here, John Doe Visa Credit Card Reports. When I select this role, we can clearly see that there is a metadata tag, which is credit card, and the provider is Visa. When I try to download this file, we can clearly see the notification on top that says error, unable to download this file as it contains a Visa credit card number. Hence, the DOP rule is being applied. If the user tries to even preview this document, he's going to get the same message, preview failed, unable to download this file as it contains a Visa credit card number. Hence, this is what DOP will prevent the user from downloading or viewing any document that has this metadata tag. If we go back into the admin portal, we're going to be able to see under the violations, if we click on refresh, which violations have been affected by the user. I can see that the user Jack, on this date, tried to download the document and he violated the rule Visa credit card. This is part of the things you can also do from within Manage DOP rules. Besides being able to create the rules, you're also going to be able to view if there has been any violation. You're going to be able to download this report in a CSV format. You're going to be able to edit the rule. And you're going to be able to delete the rule. Keep in mind that also DOP rules can be mixed together. For example, 
in here using the or, I'm able to create a single rule that applies to multiple scenarios. For example, if a document has the metadata value, credit card provider, MasterCard, or credit card provider, American Express, deny the download. Hence, I can mix, I can have two rules under one single um, DLP rule. You can create DLP rules for other actions, such as denying the login if the country code is not from the United States of America. Therefore, to meet with ITAR compliance. In this scenario, I have to select allow. By selecting allow, I am only allowing people that's coming from the United States of America to log into my portal, but it's automatically denying everybody else. For more details on our DOP rules and more examples, feel free to visit our documentation, which will contain every single example and how you can use it and expect the results as seen on my screen. These are the actions that you can do on managed DOP rules under the admin portal governance smart DOP.